Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Step It Up demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making some alternate cards using the birthday card organizer kit. This is the instruction pamphlet that just shows you how things should be put together for this kit. Then we have um, the actual organizer itself. And I've gone ahead and put the stickers on every month. Okay, so before we get started on our project, of course we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. And we're gonna start with our paper pumpkin kit from the North Pole. You have until November 10th to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit. <laughs> this particular paper pumpkin kit, if I can talk. There is a link in the description box below for you to subscribe to the paper pumpkin. This kit includes 12 tags for each of three different designs. And it does coordinate with the previous month's paper pumpkin kit, which is the Ho 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 paper pumpkin kit and that made cards and then we have the 12 north pole sacks which is an additional add-on that you can purchase for four dollars and this is the item number next up we have our starter kit plus promotion going on whenever um you buy the starter kit it costs 99 dollars. but during this promotion you're going to spend your 99 dollars for the kit plus tax and instead of getting $125 worth of product, you're going to get $155 worth of product. Any product that you want in the Stampin' Up! catalogs or on the um, clearance rack online. And it's going to ship to your house for free. You're going to get a paper pumpkin kit, one of the previous paper pumpkin kits, and a business supply pack, $99 plus tax. And you're going to get $155 worth of product. Okay? So we would love to have you join Stampin' Up! And this promotion ends October 31st. Lastly, we have our October host code. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you will qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up. But I wanna tell you, if you're gonna spend $150, you, I think the best deal for you is to get the starter kit because you only have to pay $99 and you'll get $155 worth of product. So that deal, will save you and you don't have to sell anything make videos or anything like that to be a demonstrator you can simply sign up just to enjoy the discount okay so that is all of our buzzworthy business so let's go ahead and get started let me show you what the cards in this kit are supposed to look like so i've gone ahead and made some up here and this is what they're supposed to look like really cute but i'm gonna make uh, a little bit different just a little i'm just switching up the card bases oh and let me show you they also come with coordinating envelopes cute right and these are lined um designed all the way through the whole back and front so if you want to you can even tear these up and make some um different cards so we're going to start with this card base here and let me see where are my elements i have some of the elements from one of the cards so this let me put these back in here so you can see what i'm doing different okay so i am just going to add this onto the different card base so let me get some tear and tape that does come in the um kit okay now on the instructions it doesn't it tells you not to put tear and tape there but you can if you want to. I guess it's just to save on some of the tape. So I'm gonna release these. Then I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna go right up to that score line. Making sure I get to the top of my card because this is the same size. I'm just gonna lay that down like that, okay? And then I have a piece of um, soft succulent, which is the only thing that I'm putting on this card that is not a part of the kit. And this piece of soft succulent is two and five eighths by one and three eighths. And we're going to layer this little happiest birthday that comes in the kit. It was a sticker and I just stuck it to a lot of stuff until it didn't stick anymore because I wanted to pop it up on here 
and then I decided I'm not going to prop it up. <laughs> I'm going to glue it down. So I'm going to get some liquid glue to make this sticky again. And I'm going to pop up um, the entire thing and just instead of just the um, words, because that's what I was going to do. So we're just going to put that on there like this. Okay, and then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And that's all I'm going to do. Can you believe it? And then I'm going to take these three items and I'm going to put some glue dots on there. So let me get my take your pick tool and the glue dots that are included in the kit. All right. So, uh-oh, I must have moved that when I put the dimensionals on. Okay. So, this is not going to be a, a portrait card. I'm going to make it landscape. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and fold this over and burnish our score lines using our bone folder. I, you could use this side if you want to that is beautiful to make a different kind of card so we have that there oh maybe i didn't yeah i didn't fold that too well okay so we're gonna have this be a landscape card and we're gonna put this right here okay so we're gonna stick this right here then we're gonna take our flowers here. I think I want to put this one. Let me see. I can't. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I know I want this one at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. I want this one coming out. Oh, not over it. <laughs> coming out like that. And then this, yeah, I wanted it like that. Okay. I couldn't remember how I set it up in my head. <laughs> this always happens because I don't usually make the cards ahead of time. Just like that. Okay. And then we have some of the little embellishments that they gave us in the kit these are super cute we're going to put a couple of those on here some of these little um, iridescent sequins hmm. I think that's good yeah that's cute Okay, that's my first alternate. And let's do the next one. So the next one, we're gonna be using the polka dot. Um, what is this? Card base, oh my goodness. And then I'm just gonna get this folded. Our bone folder here. And this one, we are gonna be making landscape. So the first thing I wanna do is add this piece that came in the kit and we're going to do, 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 do sticky put some tear and tape on the back and I'm not going to go all the way down because I know some of this is going to be getting cut off so oh I guess I should go ahead and sticky tape this as well not sticky tape oh my goodness tear and tape I have all the old product names in my head lately Uh oh, I went over real close to the edge on that one. Okay, so this is going to go right here, right? And this. Yeah, this is going to be like in the middle. Oh, no, 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 because this is, this is going to be... <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a portrait because the other one was landscape. 
I knew there was, I'm like, there's, that doesn't look right. Okay. So the reason I'm doing that is because I needed to see where this ended. I want to take this to about right there. Put that down just like that. Then we're going to get our scissors and cut off this overhang. That's the only waste we're going to have on this card. Now let's go ahead and glue this down. Remove the backing. And fold over my tape where I went over the edge. And then we're just going to line this up. The edge of our card and the top. And lay it down like that. Okay, and then I have the big flower. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. Okay, that should be good. Let's remove these dimensionals. And we are going to add this flower. Let me see. About right there. Because I want to cover up this little intersection right here. So we're going to put it just like that. Then we're going to take the sticker sheet with the It's Your Day. And we're going to add this right down here. Oops, get it straight. Just like that. Okay. And our take your pick tool, and we're going to add some of these gorgeous sequins on here. Put a little bit more on this one. Just because we can. Yep, I like it. That's good. <laughs> okay, so these, again, are how the cards are supposed to be. And where did I put the other card that we just made? Oh, here it is on the side. And this is how I changed it up. Okay, that is it. That is all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.